Body language displays a crazy amount of information. It can tell us how someone feels about us, whether or not they're stressed, or even what they might be thinking or feeling. But a lot of people pay zero attention to it, and that is an atrocity. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read body language like a master. But first, let's dive a little deeper into why it's important and how it might help you. The first thing to note is that nearly all forms of body language happen instinctively. Most people aren't even thinking about their body or what moves they're making, but body language signals still show up. When people won't tell you something verbally, you can bet that their body will do it for them. Once you master the ability to read body language, you'll be able to tell when somebody disagrees with you, if that pretty girl wants to be kissed, or whether or not you're hearing the whole story. So how do you learn to read body language like a brilliant detective? There are two main things you need to do. The first is studying and learning body language tells. For example, imagine you're in a conversation with someone and you see them start tugging at their earlobe. Great, you've just recognised a tell. But what does it mean? Exactly. To be an effective reader of body language, you'll need a working knowledge of what different movements mean and what can trigger them. Luckily for you, this is something that I cover on this channel as well. If you're interested in learning about confidence tells or how to adjust your own body language to portray extreme levels of confidence, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. I'll also be releasing a video next week on the most useful tells to look for across the board when reading people. Subscribe now so that you don't miss it. For a more in-depth guide to body language signals and reading in general, I'd strongly recommend the book what Everybody Is Saying by Joe Navarro. I've read countless books on charisma and social interaction, and when it comes to the specifics of body language, this is the best that I've read. The other key action for learning to read body language is practice. That's right, it's just like any other skill. Most social interactions occur on the fly, and body language tells are often fleeting or temporary. You'll need to practice until you can read them quickly and accurately while also engaging in conversation. It's not easy, but it can be done with consistent effort. So, with those two keys in mind, you're ready to start learning. But before you do, I've got some core principles for you. These are things that should always be kept in mind when trying to interpret body language. The first is to consider the context. Always pay attention to the surroundings and the environment when observing body language. For example, Wrapping our arms around ourselves is a common indicator of discomfort, but it could also just mean that the person is cold and trying to warm themselves up. Are they waiting at a bus stop in the middle of winter? This is the context. There are always multiple potential reasons for an action, so consider the extra information before making a judgement. Second, you should always watch for clusters. When reading body language, the more signals, the better. If you see three different signals that all indicate stress, you can be pretty sure that the person is stressed about something. But if you only see one, there's still room for doubt. That doesn't mean that a single towel should be disregarded, but keep this in mind. Next, you have to consider the baseline behaviour of the person you're observing. For example, someone scratching their head might be confused or at a loss. But what if they actually scratch their head a hundred times each day? and it's just a habit that they've picked up? What if it's a learned behaviour and has no greater meaning? This is something to consider. With that in mind, pay attention to the baseline behaviour of those around you. Obviously you can't do this with people you don't know very well, or that you've just met, but always be on the lookout for typical behaviour and deviations away from that. Another tip is to look for pacifying behaviours. Pacifying behaviours are small movements that indicate some form of stress or discomfort. They're the kinds of things that people will do to relieve some of the discomfort that they're feeling. I mentioned earlier that you'll need to build up your knowledge base regarding specific movements and what they mean, and pacifiers work the same way. You'll need to study them to know which behaviours indicate stress and which don't. The final tip is just a general rule to follow. When it comes to body language, the higher up on the body an action occurs, the more potential for dishonesty. People are very aware of their facial expressions and can shift them around to try and deceive. 
However, most people aren't aware of their feet or leg positioning at all. With that in mind, face and neck signals may be deceptive. Feet and leg signals tend to be more honest and reliable. So now you know how to improve at reading body language. And you have some rules and tips to keep in mind while you do it. Now it's time for a challenge to get you started. You're going to spend 10 minutes observing people and trying to notice body language signals. If you need some more help with what to actually look for, check out my Confident Body Language video. The link is in the description. There are two ways you can do this. The first is to find a spot that people frequent. This could be a street corner or the lunchroom at work. If you have a situation like this available to you, great. Find an unobtrusive spot and observe. If you're worried about looking creepy, I totally get it. Just wear some sunglasses. The second option is to jump on Netflix or YouTube and find a show that shows a lot of social interaction. This isn't as effective as real world practice, but it still helps a lot. Ideally, avoid shows that rely on close up camera shots. You want to be able to observe the entire person, including their feet and leg position. Do 10 minutes and let me know how it goes in the comments. Hey guys, I'm Cam and welcome to Upgrade Yourself where we give you the knowledge and skills that you need to upgrade your life. We release new content every Wednesday, so make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss anything.